Hello? 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 Oh, come on. 3210. No. 3310? Ah, hello. Nah, sorry, mate. Wrong number. Okay, g'day, scrappers. <laughs> Thought I'd just do a little video on my mobile phone collection and um, just sort of uh, start clearing out these phones and start scrapping them out mostly. Um, but I was quite surprised at the how many different Nokia phones I have. Um, there's 80 different Nokia cell phones here, um, except for these five. They're all the same, but they're just five different colours or six different colours. So there's about 75 different Motorola uh, Nokia's uh, alone. Um, so yeah, pretty interesting. I suppose starting at these kind of big old chunky ones and um, going a little bit smaller yes yeah, to the um, popular like the 3210 and 3310 3315s um, yeah blackberries didn't realize I had so many blackberries I think there's quite uh, mo you know there's a lot of the same br um, models and stuff but I actually like blackberries. Um, they just feel nice in the hand. Um, I never actually owned one simply because I don't like these QWERTY keyboards. Uh, you can see my finger. Um, it covers six buttons. Um, I just like them as, uh, you know, just little um, collectible gadgets. They just feel so good. Yeah. Um, that's blackberries. I've also got uh, a few other models. Nothing really special. I've got some different Motorola's, HTC, got Samsung's. Um, I've, still got, I've got a bucket of um, Ericsson's and um, all kinds of things here. This is all just Nokia's again. Um, some of them I've got quite a lot of like the, these ones here I think the 5110 I've got a lot okay. and the blackberry that's the only silver blackberry I've got so um, yeah and I don't mind the small back blackberries either but Nokia's um, I started using Nokia phones so um, if anything I've got more sentimental value towards Nokia um, but just like hard drives it's kind of like an accidental collection just uh, started accumulating didn't want to scrap them out straight away all I was doing was just scrapping out um, doubles um, but so now we know that uh, well I know that mobile phones or cell phones <laughs> um, you know they don't really hold much collectible value uh, there's a lot of kids that uh, collect them and um, especially the late model stuff like the smartphones and all that um, you know you go to your department stores and you've got um, recycling bins and a lot of the kids go to those recycling bins and pick out mobile phones for their own collection that's one way to get phones um, Target, Big W or whatever, uh, Walmart all those places, um, stationery uh, like staples or something like that they'll have a recycling box and you might be able to pick out a few that are sitting over out you know that are, if it's over full or something like that you might be able to get yourself a few mobile phones um so yeah so i thought um you know maybe by the time i got to this point i'd be uh you know sort of into them more for collectability but uh and see uh, most of them have had their battery removed because it's no good to store batteries um, I scrapped this one out to keep the batteries in the cell phones because the um, the lithium batteries they expand and they pop out anyway and they can corrode and they can 
you know make a mess of the phone so um yeah and uh obviously storing lithium batteries can be a fire risk so yeah i recommend if you're collecting cell phones to um tape up your lithium batteries and keep them separate to your phones um but anyway i don't even know if these are working i'd imagine most of them would be working but yeah that's it that's just uh <laughs> A bit of mobile phones and I'm just going to start scrapping most of these out now um, I decided I don't want one of every different Nokia because like I've got 80 but there's probably a thousand um, and yeah I'm just not into collecting mobile phones I'd much rather scrap them out for the um, precious metal recovery but I will keep a few I don't know I'm not really sure I'll definitely keep some blackberries um, Blackberries, uh, as far as scrap, gold recovery and precious metal, they're okay, but they're nothing special. Uh, so that's a, that's a blackberry board there. So it's pretty much black. So you've got all these little um, things. Take these shields off. So, you know, just standard circuitry very very tiny little um, IC chips and stuff but uh, you know cell phone boards are, are really good for precious metal recovery um, nothing there you know obviously we've got a lot, of, a lot of little gold bits and all kinds of things but yeah these blackberries aren't really spectacular as far as um, boards go for recovery like he's a just an old Nokia. Uh, this is a six, 6233. Obviously, this one I've scrapped out a bit. Just to have a look at the boards. So, yeah, nothing spectacular here. But we do have, you know, tiny little BGA chips. Uh, Tantalum capacitor. So yeah, really nice BGA chips. They're going to be good for gold recovery, but they're just so small. Um, obviously, it takes a few, but uh, it all adds up. So that's a that's a pretty plain one too. Uh, this is one of these Nokia fifty one tens. Yeah, these ones got a lot of. Scrap this one out. Now th these ones, the 5110s, they have two boards. So, really good uh, value as far as scrap goes. So you got uh, just this gold-plated board. And these little um, touchpad uh, gold buttons, or pads, are um, they're actually quite good gold recovery too. So yeah, not bad. And then you've got the main board in here, which uh, looks even better. Nice BGA. Nice gold plating. This side. Nice little IC chips. So, yeah. Two boards. From these ones, they are the uh, what do I say? The 60, 51 tens, I think. Yeah. So that's all I'm going to do is just have a bit of fun scrapping uh, a lot of these boards out. Nice board there. BGAs, grade one, best quality. Crystal oscillators. You'll either have gold or silver under these. So if they're not gold, and they're silvery, they will be silver contacts. Another one, a 6100. It's quite nice with the BGAs. Again, we're gonna have, you got your gold plating there. 
it's uh, this one's a bit lighter usually on the blue boards the gold plating is not as good as the green boards but these uh, contacts here are silver as well so in cell phones there is a lot of silver recovery um, it's quite surprising how much silver actually um, companies like Umicore can get out of mobile phones as well as uh, see this is uh, my issue sure we can get to gold silver but that's about where everyone stops and I can tell you that there's platinum in here um, almost as much platinum probably in some of these boards than, um, than there is gold and that's why the uh, bigger companies can extract it and that's why I prefer to stockpile stuff like this and uh, until we can actually process all the precious metals in the backyard you know um, because at the moment you know we sell these boards as for gold recovery based on gold uh, where the big refiners benefit is they get the platinum and the silver and the copper and all that so you know uh, we can uh, quadruple our value if we can easily recover that platinum and palladium and so on so um, yeah I just recommend keeping these this kind of stuff for um, all kinds of precious metal and don't just go for the gold recovery and uh, I think you'll be you'll be happy for that because uh, imagine building up um, a collection of cell phone boards that you've accumulated over say five years you're gonna have a really big collection and it's going to be uh, you know um, the cream of the crop stuff as far as all kinds of precious metals um, what else I got? Did a Samsung. Just another example. You know, all this sort of stuff here. That could be a gold plated or it could be brass, but it's most likely just uh, thin gold plating. But look at that. It's a very <laughs> intense um, board. And look at that beautiful crystal oscillator there. The gold band really nice and long that's really nice that uh, another one here and, uh, and another one there no that's uh, something else but yeah so personally I don't recommend selling your cell phone boards even if you're getting good money like uh, in the States they're probably paying eight dollars nine dollars a pound um if you can wait until um like i said we uh, we can recover all the precious metals out of these i think you're going to find that these are going to be much more valuable than just nine dollars a pound but uh until we can do that and get all the precious metals uh we just got gold recovery so that's why i prefer to keep them but uh so that was the samsung and that was, uh, and that's a very beautiful, very intense board. Really good. So SCH411. Got some apples, but they're all usually just smashed up. Makes it really hard to scrap them out. I don't really get that many apples. Uh, HTC, very common. Everyone seems to be throwing these away really not a lot to them they just got like a two-piece board so nothing special there but this ribbon is uh, actually quite good if you peel this away you can see easy recoverable gold plating even though it's fine but yeah it's really good just another board here if I can remove the shield nothing spectacular but yeah still a bit of gold there so we'll get into them they're all right um, yeah that's about all I've opened up but so I'm not sure about the uh, motor are uh, the Nikias um, 80 different I might yeah you know to tell you the truth rather than selling them I'd rather go for the boards you know because uh, 
if I put 80 different Motorola's on eBay, you know, just as one big bulk lot, um, what's someone going to pay? $100 for 80, that's a dollar each. Um, really, they should be worth at least $3 each, otherwise um, I'd rather just keep them. And so $240, I don't think anyone's going to pay $240 for 80 different um, Nikias, so um, so definitely better off scrapping them out because even the 3210s, the 3310s, they're not worth that much. I see little bulk lots like three or four for sale for you know 15 20 dollars, so five bucks each. So, so even the, the popular 3310s don't sell for much simply because they made like 200 million of them. Um, but uh, so I can't see much collectability in mobile phones unless you're a real die-hard mobile phone enthusiast. Um, I'm just going to scrap them out. But yeah, if you're looking for mobile phones, uh, you should be going to yeah places like the department stores that have recycling uh, boxes, and um, you might be able to score yourself a bunch every time you go there. A little handful. Um, to keep your um, scrap going. Alright guys, well, that's mobile phones. I'm going to get busy and I'm going to I'm going to start scrapping out everything but these 80 Nikias and these Blackberries. I'm just going to leave these. Uh, I'm going to scrap out my spare box of Nikias. All these uh, Siemens Alcatel. That might just be a home phone. LGs, LGs, yeah. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to scrap out all the oddball stuff, and um, and I can get rid of my big bin of mobile phones now. And I can just, as I get more in, I'm just going to scrap them as I go, uh, just like I used to do. I only started sort of accumulating mobile phones uh, probably about a year and a half ago. But I don't really get as many as I used to get, so uh, yeah. These are cool, the uh, 5110s, green, purple, yellow, blue, red, dark blue. All right, guys, well, that's the cell phones. I recommend scrapping them out. They're hardly ever going to be collectible. Um, like I said, even the um, most popular model is... Uh, not really worth much so um, yeah but definitely got great gold recovery as far as the modern day smart smartphones is concerned um, yeah they're okay but nothing spectacular for gold recovery obviously more modern uh, they're much lighter and they put a lot less precious metals in there so but anyway guys keep scrapping Go out there and grab yourself some mobile phones out of those recycling boxes, department stores. All right, guys. Well, have fun out there, and I'll catch you next time very soon.